Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Summer 4 roadmap update video. This is the May 2024 update, which is great. I mean, it's almost been, what, four years since the uh, first roadmap. Goes too quick. You can see the little graphic there if you want to sort of have a look at that, give it a little pause there. Um, but let's get on to the sort of too long, didn't read summary. So, uh, yeah, obviously Semmering Bang and Long Island Railroad V2 came out, well, recently. Cargo Island Volume 2, again... I'd see, uh, yeah, out as well. Uh, we've got new screenshots for the class 380, the DBBR218, new details as well. Uh, the five circle update, um, you know, but oh, hang on, high iron simulations, new TSW partner. That's uh, that's not too surprising. Let's uh, let's scroll down anyway. Uh, so the train to world roadmap. Welcome to the May everyone, with a new month comes our latest development roadmap update for you all on Trainsim World. In this roadmap update, outside of talking about our recently released add-ons, you can expect this roadmap to primarily focus on third party developments from our Trainsim World partners, who all will have various development updates to share. After a quick tour of our progress to the 380, the TSG team will present new information on the DBBR218, followed by Rivet Games with an update on the Five Circle improvements. Uh, Skyhook Games will also tag in with details on the 158 and will be introduced, uh, introducing High Iron Simulations as a new TSW partner and providing more screenshots for the upcoming Tadami line from Union Workshop. Um, for development insights, we are uh, including a new video to showcase uh, upcoming suspension improvements this time on the class 323 formation designer creators club functionality coming to all platforms uh, and a mention of Kafkart circles TOD4 improvements okay right let's scroll down so yeah summering bar long on a road v2 they're now out now as well as cargo and volume 2 that's also out now so we can skip all of that so content up ahead scott rail class 380 since teasing the class 380 last month with a few details and a work in progress image we are back today with an all new screenshot with it in game and on its home route of the calf cart circle which uh, may be looking a little fuller in the skies let's uh, head over to dovetail games product marketing coordinator james with the details and there's the free out, that looks really nice. Nice bit of weathering on it as well, which is nice, not all sort of shiny new. Um, as these units are, what, 12 years old or so now, so they're not, you know, shiny new, so a little bit of wear and tear and cool. Um, so, what continues on the Scott Rail Class 380, it's now in-game and externally complete with all its numbering and scrolling destination board. The interior and cab are also in place. Uh, note the TMS which does have explorable screens to see different parameters of the train. Uh, uh, was that, what's this depot called again? That's not, is it North Shields Depot? Possibly North Shields Depot, I can't remember. There you can see the TMS uh, uh, with a few different pieces, bits and pieces on it. Uh, much like the Class 377 and 385, the cab corridor connection means the space is quite cramped, but the view is at least a tad more forgiving with the 380, although perhaps the most iconic and distinctive feature of the 380 is its angled gangway, which is really just weird and bizarre. But that's when it's sort of coupled up, um, it's sort of coming right out, and then you've got the, well, when it's not, it's a really just weird looking train. Uh, as you can see, they're the most unique animation for the Class 380 gangway, where after the connection has been made, the driver uses a switch in the cab to pivot the gangways into place and allow the coupling to complete. Once this is done, the cabs are then set up as per other corridor connection trains in TSW to allow for passenger walkthrough, and we will show this in more detail in the coming months. And there it is there alongside the lovely 314, which I sort of hope does get some upgrades as well, but maybe they'll mention that. There it is though. Cool. Uh, the Eagle Line, a few may have already spotted the volumetric elephant in the room alongside the Class 380. We will also be bringing the uh, Cathcart Circle into the growing number of routes which support TOD4 skies and lighting. This free update uh, will breathe new life to the route, as will other changes happening courtesy of game designer Liam, who yeah, did um, the West Somerset Railway remaster. So, updated signal visuals, new track and ground ballast, latest water visuals for the River Clyde and other locations, and more. Looking good, looking good. Uh, share more details about it. Uh, and yeah, this is a comparison of, well, old Kafkar, new Kafkar timetable. So just, a, I mean, you've got like one, three trains there. And on here you've got, well, double that number. 
Uh, partner program update, so this is from TSG who is developing the 218. Uh, as an update to last month's announcement of the 218 from the TSG team, they wanted to share more details of the locomotive as well as the key features you can expect to find for the upcoming add-on. So there it is, there's a pretty funky looking loco, but there it is. Uh, this mighty diesel hydraulic loco from the late 60s is surprisingly still in service today. With an impressive reliability record, it can be uh, seen throughout Germany's railways despite the introduction of the newer EMUs. This mainstay of German motive power can be seen going uh, where electric trains can't go and is much loved by fans from all over the world. There's the cab shop there. So you've got like the um, tap changer, I suppose, sort of weird on there. A bit like on the um, the DBBR 155, it's sort of got the wheel to it. And I suppose also the one... Oh, what's that new, what's that massive one called? The 152... 11 something, oh, I can't remember. Uh, key features you can expect, um, the DBBR 218 series 400 with the TB11 engine in traffic red, end wagons in traffic red with the diesel desk version of the Karlsruhe camp car, uh, timetable mode for Hamburg Lübeck, uh, four scenarios including a route length runs, a rescue mission of the stranded regional express with a double formation of 218s, and a freight one with a mixed and heavy rain from Lübeck to near Hamburg, two tutorials and an adopted M-Wagon car tutorial for the new diesel desk and journey mode services and there it is again yeah cool okay um, cool so five circle so Rivet have been continuing on improvements to the five circle and currently they are focusing on the following changes in the upcoming patch so 33 new services added to the base layer being the missing Calden beef services which don't really know why they weren't there in the first place Unless maybe they were sort of waiting for the 158 release. Uh, six new rail tour services, two Jubilee rail tour services, uh, two class 40 services going to and from Dunfermline City, uh, prevent popping on the fourth bridge on Xbox One, and performance optimizations across the route, and also adding a procedural foliage system uh, as seen in the overground line. Which, yeah, that's looking, I mean, that's looking a lot nicer. Um, as to, to what it was, not sure what's going on with that football field there on the left. <laughs> it's sort of a proper overgrown football field. But yeah, I mean, that is looking a lot better. Sort of the foliage sort of right up within the cess there. Um, you've got textures sort of on the fields a lot more than what we did have. Still can't see the wires for the poles, but that might just be the way the screenshot's been taken. Um, but yeah, that does look a lot nicer uh, than what it would did before but I still can't see any ballast colour to it. I think that ballast looks the same whereas on the real five circuit it's sort of a reddy orange colour um, but I mean yeah the ballast colour does make a huge difference it used to be like really but I mean it does uh, especially if you look at something like Midland Mainline there's another shot there has the ballast colour changed? don't think it has or has it? no, don't know uh, work also continues with the Leaven branch and Rivet haven't updated that part of the route for scenery changes just yet as those changes will be implemented alongside the update which includes the branch which the Rivet team will begin working on once they can access the site for references. Uh, additionally Rivet have also been working on some important updates on the Benina line which are going through our QA teams at the moment to include alongside the update to Five Circle. Uh, to fix an issue with a runaround service not completing and causing a gridlock at Toronto. Uh, unlock journey chapters so players can play through all of them without having to complete the previous chapter. Uh, fixed engine calling and fan audio being heard from a far distance. And then we go on to the Scott Rail Class 158, uh, which it feels like it's been in development for quite a long time. Um, so we can't talk about one Scott Rail, it's not a locomotive add on, train add on, without talking about the other. Skyhook Games have been working hard with the release of Cargolan Volume 2. Uh, they are still progressing well on the 158 and providing an overview of what you can expect. So it's class 158 2 guard DMU to Scott Rail specification. Uh, one, yeah, yeah, three scenarios, Edinburgh Glasgow, three scenarios for five circle, timetable services for both routes, that's nice. And compatibility with the 170. I mean that is probably the best news um, out of all of that. Um, as yeah, realistically they do run as five car trains obviously two the two coach 158 and then the three coach 170 so that will be 
extremely good. Um, still uh, no screenshots of it, which is surprising. Uh, new TSW partner. That's uh, just sort of an American one. So our trend to my partner family grows once again with the announcement that High Iron Simulation, who have previously developed multiple add-ons for Train Sim Classic, are now working on their first couple of projects with Train Sim World. We reached out to their team for a quick mention in this roadmap and a sneak peek at their upcoming releases. Uh, we have been a third-party developer for TSC since 2016, produce, uh, producing a variety of TSC products ranging from scenario and locomotive packs to routes. Two of High Iron Simulation's most recent releases have been the Saluda Grade and the Feather River Canyon Enhanced Routes. Uh, we are excited to begin development for TSW4 and our initial team represents an experienced group of uh, developers including Michael Stefan, Rick Grout, uh, Cesar Parch and Gary Dolz who did a lot of the, um, Gary yeah, doing lots of the uh, sort of American TSW articles, uh, notably I think he did Clinchfield Railroad, he did like a whole essay on Clinchfield Railroad. Uh, High Iron uh, presently has two projects in development, the first of which is a Santa Fe gameplay pack for the Cajon Pass that will bring um, AT and SF9, I'm guessing that's something Santa Fe, American something and Santa Fe, 1990s era rail roading to the famous California Pass, which is good because so we did have the F7 Santa Fe pack, but then it just was just really bizarre because it was sort of an old train, but with everything being new, so it just didn't fit in. So I suppose what this pack is probably meaning to do is sort of basically trying to make yet yeah, an older, yeah, a 90s era uh, I don't know, maybe they'll update the route as well, make it look a bit more 90s, that will be cool. Our second project will be a route, but we're not quite ready to share information at this stage. For our team, it's an exciting prospect to utilise the advanced TSW4 tools and apply our collective railroad knowledge and years of seeing sim experience to creating products for trains from our 4. Now that is exciting. And then the Tadami gun, which I don't think we got anything for in the last roadmap. I think the last one, yeah, was probably March... Maybe even February? can't remember. Uh, development for Union Workshop was previously announced to Army Line is progressing and they've provided a new range of work in progress screenshots of the scenery that we wanted to compile for you today. <coughs> I mean, that's just looking nice, isn't it? I mean, that's like Nidatel Barn. Nice. Um, yeah, it was really the first Japanese route in Trainsome World. Well, in Trainsome World, I mean, that looks um, looks lovely. So that sort of um, bright or very high saturation to the uh, to the green, love it. Some of the bits and pieces there. Generally, I'm really looking forward to the um, to Darmi Line. I think it's probably going to be one of the best looking routes, hopefully, that we've uh, seen. Uh, as we mentioned, this route is quite far out from release, but we are getting regular updates from the Union Workshop team to keep you informed on the development of the route. Uh, they've got about all the updates and stuff, um, which are, yeah is already out. So here's the uh, class three two three suspension update. Obviously, credit to Dovetail Games or Train Sim Train Sim World for the uh, video. Still can't sort of believe suspension isn't actually a thing. Well, we've got it on the pacer, but it was I think it was meant to be a Train Sim World for release thing, which I mean is a long time ago now well nine months ago um so i don't really know what is going on with it um and why for the 323 as well yeah it's um yeah it just doesn't i don't know it's just yeah <laughs> a long time in the making wasn't it meant to be the easter core update i don't know um, right, formation designer. It has been fantastic seeing everyone in the TSW communities get involved with the formation designer tools uh, since our previous update gave access to console platforms, uh, which was exciting. Uh, so, phase three is coming soon. Uh, Creators Club fun functionality, that would be cool. Um, okay, so basically just saying, yeah, it's still in beta, but any feedback, etc. Uh, community corner. A roadmap timelines. The Train to My Monthly roadmap is designed to provide information on our game which is accurate at the time of publication. Um, I was just saying it can change basically the timeline. 
Oh, and then we've got some sort of community projects here. Um, so this is Train Spotting Norden, uh, who's recently shared an update for the Hanover to Hamburg route, uh, which is quite cool. I mean, the TSW editor really has opened up uh, these sorts of opportunities. Uh, traffic system beta for Train Somewhere editor for the Esk Valley and. I'm guessing that's probably the North, North North Yorkshire Moors Railway route. I can't imagine it's North Yorkshire. It might be. Um, I know it is. Station at Whitby. Well, that is cool. Well, credit to uh, Andy Go for this uh, video. Let's have a little look-see. So that's meant to be Whitby Stadium, and that's really cool. And the fact people can actually make that on, on the editor. I mean, that is impressive. Some sort of yeah, traffic. Oh, is it a parking? I think it's a parking. Traffic system beta. I mean, yeah, very cool what they're doing there, though. Uh, Freddie the Shepherd is back with an update on um, the Almtal Barn. Um, what the Wales to Grunor? I don't know where that is. Where is that? I'm not sure, but it's probably Germany or Austria. Um, but yeah, that was the well roadmap for May 2024. I mean, probably the main... Nothing really new new there, which we didn't already know about. But I suppose, yeah, the main thing is being on the free AT. Um, and, well, yeah, the free and the Cathcart Circle update, uh, which is on the way at some point. Um, and also high, in, high iron simulations... Uh, also on the way which is exciting but yeah do leave your thoughts in the comments below um, apologies if I do sound slightly quiet it's almost 1am in the morning so um, yeah uh, but yeah do comment below uh, links can be found on the usual places discord, paypal, merch store apart from that thanks for coming in and hopefully we'll see you in the next one see you all take care bye guys